and thank you for tuning into the Trucker Barbie channel. I'm Missy Howard. Today we're going to be talking about how to be a better team driver and we're going to be playing a little game called Whose Fault Is It Anyway? Okay, here's the situation. It's your turn to drive and you have backed up to a dock and you have gone inside to talk to the shipper and when you left the truck the curtain was closed and your team driver was behind the curtain and you come back to the truck and the curtain is still closed and you assume that your team driver is still in the sleeper or off duty and um, you assume that they're behind the curtain because the curtain is closed so you pull away from the dock and there's something you don't know your team driver is in the back of the truck in the trailer and they're doing something i don't know if they're trying to help you or trying to secure a load or talking to somebody that's on the dock or whatever. And as you pull away, they fall out of the truck and they scrape their knee. And they're pretty sore and they get maybe some bruises and some minor cuts. And they come back into the truck and they wanna blame you. How dare you pull away when you didn't even know they were back there and they're supposed to be in the sleeper not doing any on-duty functions, okay? and it's all your fault that they're hurt. Okay, let's review. When you came back to the truck, the curtain was closed. They didn't leave it open to signal, hey, I'm out of the truck, I'm in the bathroom, I'm this, I'm that, okay? They didn't uh, get on the cell phone and text you, hey, I'm in the back of the truck, okay? They're not even supposed to do anything that's safety sensitive, such as loading, unloading, fueling, pre-tripping, post-tripping. They're not supposed to be doing anything like that because they are either off duty or in the sleeper. So these are just some of the kind of issues that you can run into uh, and a lot of blame games get played between team drivers. But in this situation, I believe it's clear uh, the injuries that were suffered by the team driver in this instance were the team driver's fault because they weren't even supposed to be doing anything that would be considered an on-duty or safety sensitive function in the first place. Now I'm going to talk about something else that has to do with team driving and that is uh, the cell phone. Your cell phone should go everywhere you go. If you step out of the truck for any reason, you take the phone with you. Fueling, going to the bathroom, going in to get a fuel receipt, loading, unloading. Don't be nonchalant and lackadaisical with your cell phone. Don't make your team driver have to get out of the truck with your cell phone, chase you down, and give you your cell phone, okay? Be responsive to messages that your team driver might send you on the cell phone. They may be trying to tell you, we have a load. There may be an emergency that they need to know about. But how can they know when they leave their cell phone on the truck, okay? So you can be a better team driver, by not trying to do on-duty functions and safety-sensitive functions when you're supposed to be off-duty or in the sleeper, and by always taking your cell phone with you wherever you go, making sure it's charged, take a battery pack if you have to, take a plug and a charger cord if you have to, but make sure that your team driver can always communicate with you and dispatch as well. Uh, these are easy things. They're not hard. Don't think anybody's asking too much. And if these things are too much to ask, if you just can't be bothered with these types of things, maybe you should be a solo driver. As I've said before, there is nothing wrong with being a solo driver. Some solo drivers make as much, if not more, than team drivers. And maybe that's the course they should follow and stay on. But when you're a team driver, you need to think about your team driver, okay? And the issues that concern the team. That's all I'm saying. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.